Hey good looking, it's time to start cooking. What I want to do today is my homemade pesto sauce and these are the ingredients. We have some tomatoes, we have a pepper, black pepper, ground, some basil and tarragon. The idea is to soften the red peppers in the oven. Meanwhile, we're mushing down the tomatoes. Blend it all together. Hey pesto, we should have the most delicious homemade and cheap. So cheap in fact that if the supermarkets found out, they'd put a fatwa up on my head. Now traditionally, pesto has pine nuts in it. Well, tarragon contains some sort of pine flavor, so I'm gonna use that in lieu of the pine nuts. Does it work? I don't know. to decide what we're going to have with it. Uh, and I've found some, uh, found some Nonna Mia on special offer from Lidl's. Contortion, no more. I believe it's ready. Time to go over to the oven, from oven to plate. Come on. Okay, we are just about ready now to serve up. Let's have a look what we've got here. Well, here we have the pesto, and I've decided to leave to leave the uh, peppers in there because it looks quite mm, nice, nice and substantial and a bit crunchy. Maybe this is the noni, and I've added a little bit of cheese to the party in case it wants cheesing up somewhat. Uh, but of course, now it's the time for the taste test. Okay, we're ready. I think I'm just going to dive deeply and fundamentally into the pesto because this is the name of the dish, isn't it? After all, here goes. Mm. Oh boy, you know what, that is nice. There's the peppery in there, there's the, there is the tomato in there, but it's, you know, it's the pepper that gives it all the difference, and I must thank Lucy for that. Well, the none themselves are stuffed with something, and that brings something to the party. All I can say is, you know, try this, it's reasonably simple. This is one of my better efforts. I'm going to give this 8, 9 out of 10.